How do you take such a common cultural potluck staple and turn it into something with pure geometric freedom? My role at the Chef's Garden and Culinary Vegetable Institute is to explore vegetables, to better understand these ingredients and help people understand them. The diversity of the potato is astonishing. They have effectively migrated into classic staples of every culture globally. So taking a common dish as the potato salad has helped us really explore the versatility of the potato, of something we all know and thought we knew. We've taken baked potatoes and molded them through copper pipes to give us more surface area. So we've taken celery brunoise and folded into a viscous celery juice that's slightly sweetened. We've taken rounds of potatoes and poached them in acidulated water for an acid. We've taken mustard seeds and very, very simply pickled them for a caviar-like texture. We've taken the traditional mashed potato and piped it in. We finish it with onion sprouts, celery leaf, mustard greens, paprika. So if it is the same ingredients, is it a different dish? This is our potato salad. To take a single ingredient and work through it is such a natural process for us. And we look at the potato as an extremely versatile ingredient pureed, dried, defried, churned, baked, puffed, grilled, charred, frozen, whatever you want to do with it, you can do with it. We make a custard base of baked potato. We embrace the peels of the potato in this dish, which are often lost. We bake them in the oven until crispy and treat them like chicken bones to make a stock. Managing waste is a huge part of what we do. The potato chips, we shingle on a sill pat and bake until crisp. The crystal lettuces, watercress, and mustard serves as a refreshing complement in contrast. The broth is adjusted, seasoned, and poured over the baked potato custard. Baked potato soup on croute is a creamy, earthy, crispy, textural roller coaster of a soup. 